It's his own name and I Biggie, come the whole road from Dublin to the lover of Ration. Run up Jane up. I'm sorry that I am late, it is a long road to Dublin and I didn't give myself enough time so the fault lies squarely on my shoulders. Those with a bit of Gaelge on Jibbit Mock Douglish. But I answered to Dougie. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, as I said earlier on, it's 107 years since the 1916 rising. But Ireland has been occupied in total or in part for over 850 years. And always during that time, 850, more than 850 years, Irish men and Irish women have strove to get the British out of Ireland. Be it a few chieftains in the old, old, old days, to members of the Republican movement in more modern times. And that will continue. As Parley Confucius said, Ireland unfree shall never be at peace. And that is the way it is, it's the way it has always been. We're 25 years now into the Stormont Agreement, the Good Friday Agreement, call it what you will. And it's painfully obvious, it hasn't worked. It hasn't worked for those that call themselves Irish, hasn't worked for nationalists, hasn't worked for Irish Republicans. It's worked for the politicians, those who supposedly sit in Stormont. They're, they're not sitting there, but they're still being paid. They'll happily trundle along through life getting paid for doing no work. It's worked for those that deem themselves loyalists and unionists. They have direct rule now, which is what they always wanted, rule from London. They're not really interested in rule of the people of Ulster for the people of Ulster. And as a Republican, as a member of Sinn Féin Pobletoch, we do have a policy. The policy is, we said earlier on, air Nua and sail Nua. It's not ideal. It needs to be tweaked. It needs to be worked on. But it's a policy of inclusion for everybody. Catholic, Protestant, the centre. People of the country, people of the cities. It's for a four, four provincial government of Ireland and an overall government then probably based, they do say at alone, but based more than likely in Dublin. And it's where the people in the areas, in the provinces, will have a say in what goes on locally. It's not government remote. Be it in Dublin, be it in London, it'll be here in Ulster. For the people of Ulster, it'll be in Connacht. For the people of Connacht, in Munster by Munster, and so forth and so on. Taking an international viewpoint, I'm looking there it, it, across Europe and across the world at this day. There's wars everywhere, particularly in Europe. We see a war going on, and the 26 county government at the moment is tending to side with NATO. It's looking, it's playing the groundwork for involvement in NATO. And as an Irish Republican, we say, we want no truck in wars like this. We want Ireland to be neutral at the very best. I see in, in the media calls for war crime tribunals and people be brought before The Hague. Well, here in Derry, there have been war crimes committed in the last 30, 40 years. The British have admitted to committing war crimes, to killing civilians. They have admitted involvement in counter gangs, in loyalist gangs, supplying arms to these gangs, and actually members of the British forces have admitted to going out and uh, to get to the FRU, Force Reaction Unit, and killing people to stoke sectarian divide. Let them be brought before these tribunals first, before we look at bringing other people. From here I send solidarity to the people of Gaza, the people of Palestine, that today now are being murdered by the Zionists of Israel. Again, where are the war crimes tribunals for these? It seems that those that are in the gang will call for everybody else to be brought before the courts, but for their own people, they'll walk closely together and say, no, this shouldn't be done. I heard you, I'll finish with that and say, for those that are not here, join the Republican movement, look for a better Ireland, look to get the British out of Ireland, to get their involvement in Ireland, a way that we can rule Ireland for ourselves. Go to Mila Mahagriff. Thank you very much, Dougie. The whole road from Dublin, as I say, it's a long journey. And thank you very much, and a great oration he has explained everything to you. I want to thank each and every one of you who have come here on this very cold, blustery morning. These are the people who come every year at 12 o'clock, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I will now finish with singing a round of air.
Shan share shin share pasta ne arkit and tear na knock and try a knock a hears a warn a will le garner gel come by sna sail le garla has cria we love and laughily shall live canny around the wind. Thank you very much.